All right, let's solve this log equation. Now, nice. when you see a log equation, don't overanalyze it. Look, hey, the log of something equals the log of something else. Right. So, this thing has to equal this thing. Right. Oh. Just get rid of the logs on both sides. Oh, silly. Another way you could say that is called exponentiate both sides. In other words, take base 10, take, make each side to the, base the exponent 10. of base 10, which means they would cancel out. And right. so you're going to get x plus 1 times x plus 2 equals x plus 13. Now, some people, when they see this, they're like, uh, duh, what do I do now? Well, you, you can't, you can't set this equal to this because that's not you, zero. Um, just distribute it yeah, through. You, this is a quadratic equation yeah, quadratic. and you have to put it in standard form. So we have to distribute it. So it's going to be x squared plus 3x plus 2 equals x plus 13. I distribute Which, that, that all. Now set it equal to zero, right? So right. that's going to be 2x. It's going to be x squared plus 2x minus 11. Right. Did I do that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now this problem right here doesn't factor. No, it does not. And so you're going to have to use quadratic formula or complete the square, one or the other. I like completing the square, so let's do that. x squared plus 2x plus half of 2 is 1, 1 squared is 1. So I added 1, I have to also subtract. Whoops, that's subtract minus 11. I have to also subtract 1 since I added 1. So I get x plus 1 squared minus 12 equals 0. And now I can solve that really in my head by adding 12, taking the square root of it, plus or minus the square root of it, and subtracting 1 to get x by itself. There's my two answers. You can simplify that negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 12 is 2 root 3. So there are your answers. Now, one of these may not be the right answer. Because you can't have a negative. Because, because you can't have a negative inside wow. the argument. Yeah. So check them both. Um, and we get a problem because when I plug it into here, the negative one, it will give me a negative argument to right. the logarithm, which is impossible. So I can erase the negative one, and it's only negative one plus two root three and plug it in to check it to see if it's right.